Hello, I'm Sean Jones and welcome to Your Week in Tech. Currency Cloud has raised $18 million this week. It works with more than 125 payment platforms, processing $10 billion of payments per year across 212 countries. Predictive marketing tech Yieldify has raised an $11.5 million Series A round, led by Google Ventures and Japan's SoftBank Capital. This is Google's third investment in the European startup this year. Artesian Solutions has secured an $8 million investment round. The mad tech company is also celebrating reaching their 25,000 customer mark. Taylor Swift has once again spoken out against music streaming platforms, but this time her target was Apple's new music service. In a post on Tumblr, Swift said she was standing up for up-and-coming talent by opposing Apple's plan to withhold royalties within the first three months of launching the service. Apple has actually done a remarkable U-turn, with Senior Vice President of Internet Services Eddie Q tweeting, We hear you at Taylor Swift 13. Apple will always make sure that artists are paid. However, there has been speculation that this was simply a PR stunt. Now, Google has made Undo Send an official feature of Gmail on the web, finally allowing its users to cancel an email that they immediately regret sending. So, you can set the cancellation window from 5 to 30 seconds, no doubt saving jobs and relationships across the globe. Our download of the week is Dash.pm. Here is Dan to tell you more. Dash helps you organise projects visually on the iPad. It keeps you in control without the hassle of a schedule. You can manage tasks, track against goals and generate reports. And there are templates to get you started. Now, we're very sorry if you didn't manage to get a Glastonbury ticket this year, as it's not only the must-go-to event of the season, but also the green tech leader on the festival calendar. Glasto has the largest private solar farm in the UK and is powering all of the stalls and stages in the theatre and circus area purely by wind and sun. But festival goers really have to watch out. Along with compost loos, the team has launched a Don't Pee on the Land campaign to stop toxins from nearly 200,000 revellers from polluting the Sykes River. Green police are indeed watching. This has been your Week in Tech. Thank you for watching and for more do check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.